what's in the back of our Renault Zoe. Do, 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 do. So I am back on this little Renault Zoe project. Um, this Renault Zoe just here is not economically viable to repair, right? It's got charging issues, don't know, whatever. So typically break it down to the scrapyard, end of this thing. Uh, but what I've done is bought an MGTF, dropped out the, uh, the rear subframe with engine, gearbox, etc., all its ancillaries, and we're gonna bolt it into the rear of this Renault Zoe, take the motor out of the front, already taken the battery out, and make this a rear wheel drive, petrol engined Renault Zoe. Why not? So this is the, um, the Renault Zoe's rear axle that I've taken off. Um, I have already sliced off um, the rear hubs. I was gonna mess around with them. Um, but important bit, the measurement from here to here is two and a half inches longer on this MGF measurement from here to here. So basically my mounting points on the Zoe, I can't just mount into the same place as the Zoe. I've got to go inboard a bit if I want to mount the Zoe to the Zoe with these brackets just here. And that's the plan. I can see I've got enough room to be able to do that. So that's what I'm going to try. So underneath the Zoe. So we have, you can see just here, these are the mounting brackets where the Zoe subframe would mount off. That puts just there the mounting point. Now, as I say, I need to go back about two and a half inches, something like that. So basically, I need my MG mounting point to be back here. And this way, you can see a little bit better. So yeah, so we need to come back about two and a half, well, we need to come back two and a half inches from that point there, which puts it back here. And because when I take this bracket off, I think I've got a nice flat surface just here. I reckon what we can do is build ourselves a little mounting point. Now, the really good news is the the really good news is the distance between this and this is pretty much the same as the distance between the Zoe's mounting points. So my little MGF just remove the rear end. <laughs> So this is the mount, and you can see there's not much to it, basically. It's a couple of bits of box section, um, boxed in. So yeah, looking at where that sits on the car, I think that should give us the right sort of angle, but yeah. But I've got a bit of this pretty chunky um, steel, and I think that should do the job. Next issue I've got really is I kind of, the wheel arches, right, on a, on a, normal car <laughs> normal monocoque chassis you've got the uh, shock absorbers outside of you know <laughs> your passenger compartment problem is this thing's a bit narrower um so the the shock towers here are going to be pretty much going through the metal work so we're going to need to do a little bit of strengthening a little bit of god knows what so it's going to be a bit of a, a mishmash in the back end um but whatever let's see what we can do Beast. So we've got a, a beautiful flat surface that we can uh, we can make something up that fits on there. That's going to basically. Hey, you know what? We could make a few of these and sell it as a kit. <laughs> Convert your own. <laughs> yeah, no. Right. So. So we're through there. So we're just going to go up here a little bit till we hit the skinny stuff up here. And that'll do. So yeah, down to, so we've come up around. So now we need to get from there to there. That's our outer cuts then, so we come all the way under there, under there, under there, under there, under there, through there, down there, down there, wiggle, wiggle, and then all the way underneath. So we've just got the top section of that one to do from inside the car, 
and then we've got to look at quite what's going on here behind here no clue so now we've got to get from that bit there to that bit there i'm struggling a little bit um trying to get this boot floor out um i'm going to go for the um, the easier option of just cutting sections out i think rather than trying to get it out as one piece um basically because i'm trying to get it out in one piece the, the angles of things and i can't get to some of the inner sections so i think we're into uh, just hack the damn thing out mode so here we go <coughs> exciting the zoe trap door so this side i kind of cut away properly well not properly but tried to get sort of into the proper thing this side i've just sort of shortcut for now i positioned this um again something i can't open this door because i'm an idiot um so yeah hopefully i now stand in our rover k series sized hole so um so i think i think what i'll do i've still not chopped out the other side right the other chassis rail so this isn't going to sort of go in but what I'll, i'm going to do is just raise this up a little bit more now um so i can slide it underneath um just be good to sort of eyeball it a bit right Our suspension is going to come up here. So get rid of a bit of this. Same on this side. I need to cut away the, I've left the member in for this one. So I need to chop this out anyway. Um, and that needs to go all the way. You see where the engine mount's going to going to be sitting. It's going to be basically, as you can see, I've chopped out that side there. I need to chop out that piece there to be able to get the engine mount to come up and sit up here somewhere. At least that is the thinking. So yeah, it looks like I've come enough forward, got enough at the rear, and you can see where the rear mounts down here, obviously are gonna sit on a beam going across. We're a long way off, but it's in it. All right, come take a look, sis. So the uh, the shock towers, I mean, they're pretty close to being inside. So I don't think we need to butcher any more away from, well, probably just need to take a, a little section out of here. It's this front bit that's the interesting bit, right? So. So what we've got is we've got the, the, sh the box section of the chassis. So there's our mount down there, the blue, the blue jobby. So that's what we're gonna make a bracket tree up to. And then we'll have a cross member coming all the way across as well and bolted onto this beam here. And we've got the same at the other side. The problem with the other side is our engine mount is up against that corner there. So the engine mount there has put this the rear trailing arm, wrist bearing, is just touching the box section. Or if you look at the rear trailing arm on that one, uh, you can't really see it, but it's it's in a bit. So the whole engine needs to move over like about a centimetre or two. This needs to come over a centimetre. But to do that, we need to just, we'll just bash this in a little bit 
nothing major. We're going to get a mark pen and sort out and we just need to take a chunk out of this side bit as well. So underneath here, this is the this is a battery mount box, so we can um, we can take that off, and that gives us some um, some bolts that go into a, a bit of section box section here. So we're going to put a we're going to put a beam across, and we're going to have the, the mounts, or some screws coming through, some nuts coming through into this thing just here. Um, we basically wanted about this level. Uh, just because the way the MGF works to the sill height, if we if we have it higher up, we're going to get too much of an angle on this subframe. We want it to be sitting kind of level, uh, just like it was in the MGF. So so we've got a we've got a good hands width precise measurement that much that we've got to make up so we can bolt into this thing at the top, um, but have a have something to bolt into this. So yeah, we've got to get fabbing something or other. So all good. Um, I like it. It's a little bit small. <laughs> it's a little diddy wheel. So what we've got here is a pile of non-essential bits of Renault Zoe. Non-essential to this Renault Zoe. Ta-da! <laughs> So basically, um, I'm kind of there with hacking. We've got a little, a little bit of chopping out of some arches to go, um, but we're into the stage now where we need to roll the welder out um, and uh, start making something up so we can bolt the front of this subframe to the, um, uh, to, the, uh, to the chassis rails. So that's the next job. Um, we'll put that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, more to come with this ingenious, stupid project. Take care, bye.